Hey guys, Kale here from Rook Gaming, and today I'm going to start with a first in a series of videos that's going to cover getting started in Tarkov, hints, tips, tricks, and just overall survival for new players. Tarkov can be a very brutal game with a very steep learning curve, and so these guides are going to be aimed towards helping the new player get up and running faster and more efficient in a shorter amount of time. So let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna wanna do as a new player is when you first come in here, don't worry about getting right into a live raid. You're gonna wanna go to your PMC and we're gonna start with customs. You've got the, currently there's five maps that are available, woods, factory, shoreline, customs, and interchange. I recommend starting in customs. It, it's kind of a good open map to get started in. Uh, don't worry about the time. You, you do want to kind of stay to the daytimes, and this is in military hours. And as you go through here, what you're going to want to do is stop at this screen where it says enable offline mode for this raid, keep the weather off, and leave uh, PVE off for the time being. Once you get into the actual map, this is going to allow you the opportunity to run around on the map without any other players or any of the AI scavs to shoot at you. So it's going to give you time to learn the map, run around, figure out where everything's at. It's going to help you to get a feel for the flow of the game as far as movement, um, actions within the game. You can bring whatever guns you want, whatever gear you want. You have nothing to worry about losing while you're in the offline mode. Now you don't actually gain anything while you're in offline other than just knowledge and information, which in Tarkov, that is a huge, huge key factor. Knowledge and information of the maps, the extraction points, and things of that nature are an absolute huge benefit. All right, so now we've loaded in. In the top right corner, we see our extraction point, and we see our time. Now that's eventually gonna go away just like that. And all, all that you have to do to get that back up, if you single tap the O key for Oscar, the O key, one time, it will bring your time for the raid back up in the top corner. If you double tap that same key, it's gonna bring your extraction points back up. Now currently we have five different ones, and those are all spread across the map. And if you uh, first time loading in on the map, those names mean absolutely nothing to you. So that's why it's kind of important to uh, be in offline. Um, just to kind of help get map awareness, map knowledge. So you can, you can run around, you can explore. There's all kinds of things you can do. Pretty much everything's going to load in, all the loot's there, any special items that would normally be on the map are, are going to be loaded in. So you can actually discover where those things are at. Everything is the exact same as it would be in an online raid, except you do not have other players to worry about. The, uh, the PvE is, option was turned off, so there's not going to be any of the AI bots either. So this is all about just you exploring, looking at how gorgeous the world is. And taking your entire time. You, you literally have the entire 48 minutes, 49 minutes, however long that specific raid is. Some of them are 35. Uh, some of them are, are an hour long. So you have that time to just explore and really just kind of get, get used to the map, get familiar to it, find your extraction points. And uh, that's going to be a huge benefit to you once you go into online. Now, another key factor of being in offline raids is again you can bring in ammo you can practice your shooting you can do ADSing aim down sights get a good feel for it in the early levels what's called hip fire or point fire is going to be a big benefit so you can actually practice point firing and get a feel for where the ammo and bullets go when you for that particular gun and every gun is handled differently. There's actually a uh, gun sway in the game. So as you'll kind of see my guy standing still, after a while the gun will kind of move a little bit. 
Now, you actually have soft skills that you can bring up. And as these soft skills are increased in the game, some of those, some of these stats will actually impact things like gun sway, your recoil control, and all, all of this will cover uh, more in depth in, in another video. But I just wanted to make you aware that it is there and it does have an impact on your actual guns. So you can bring as much ammo in as you want. You're going to get it all back no matter what. You can get a feel for how the gun feels. So all of this is, is incredibly important. You can practice with your flashlights, laser pointers. Also when you're in offline mode, this is a good time. There are nonverbal and verbal commands that can be given. You access these through the Y button. If you double tap the Y key, it will bring up your verbal and nonverbal commands. You can actually hotkey these to your function keys, your F1 through your F12 keys. You click on it and it will apply. And then once you have it there, you can easily make use of them with your function keys. And these actually help with, say you're working with someone who doesn't have comms, you, you're not in a, a Discord channel with them, you can tell them to stop, and tell them to go that way, and tell them to get lost, you know, if, if that's, uh, if you've got somebody that's not all that good. Um, so you definitely want to be able to just get a good feel for the map, have an understanding of how the particular gun you want to use to begin with works. And I, I honestly recommend anytime you get a new gun, you know, go into offline with the new gun and, and get a feel for how it fires, how fast you get into ADS with it, what it feels like to single fire mode, full auto. And again, at the end of the offline raid, when you get back to your screen, you're going to have all this ammo back, so don't be worried about spending the money on it. And this, this point fire, it's, it's a big thing, especially early on in, in your uh, Tarkov career. Learning how to manage point fire is incredibly important so make sure you get you know get at least four or five mags in and you can always you know you can change where you're at these uh these concrete walls make for really good target practice they show really good impact which helps so you can actually still see from further away And doing this, doing these offline raids, I, I would say is by far the most important thing for a brand new player to Tarkov to acclimate themselves to the game because map awareness and map knowledge is by far one of the most underused skills in the game. So get good in the maps, use your offline raids, and it will help you succeed. Alright, so once you've had some time to run around on the offline raids without the scavs enabled, and you've gotten comfortable there, you can go ahead and start doing offline raids with the PvE enabled, which is going to allow you the opportunity to be on the map still without actual players, but now the AI scavs are going to be running around on the map. This is going to allow you to learn AI behavior, to interact with them in combat, and, and get a natural feel for how combat does actually happen in Tarkov. Um, at times, the AI scavs can actually be more dangerous to you as a player. 
than even other players in the game. So this is a very important function of using offline raids to really get a feel for the flow of the game. So let's go ahead and see if we can find some scavs up here. And again, everything that you get inside of an offline raid is just for practice. I've managed to loot this shotgun off this one scav, but I'm not going to be able to keep that when I exit the offline raid. But I have no fear of losing any of my gear that I've brought into it either. And again, this is just to prepare you for true online raids where the action can get very heated, very intense, very quickly. So again, use these offline raids to your advantage, gain knowledge of the map, your extraction points, get a feel for how combat is, and your interaction with the actual AI scavs in the game. Okay guys, that's going to do it for this video. I want to make sure I'm keeping these short, sweet, to the point, because we're going to cover a lot of topics and I really don't want them to get bogged down in one long video. So make sure you uh, check back as more videos are going to be uploaded. Be sure to like and subscribe. Also, if there's something that you would specifically like to see, drop that into the comments. Or you can always catch us at Empire Rook on Twitter. Or catch me on Twitch TV at Rook underscore Kale. And let me know what your thoughts are there. Come by, swing by, tell me, you know, what, did you like it? Did you not like it? Or if there's something specific that you would like to see in an up upcoming video. So I look forward to seeing you in the next videos, and welcome to Tarkov.